welcome to my home garden. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing in my home garden and the things that I'm going to be taking up to my allotment. So if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden, my allotment and also my home kitchen. Now although I start a lot of things off from seed, not everything succeeds and sometimes I can't start every single thing off. So I was really lucky, I went to a garden centre to meet a friend for a coffee and I was really fortunate to find a really good selection of chilli peppers that were really really reasonably priced and a really lovely selection as well. So they came in, a, in a, this pack here and what I've done is these six plants I've just potted them on into bigger plants because they really need to be moved on into better plants. So there were three varieties and that's what attracted me to them, three different varieties. There was chili pepper hot banana, um, chili pepper apache and chili pepper orange spice. So they're a real mixture of different heats um, which, which is really nice and also different colours because that's really interesting as well. So yeah there's no shame in buying stuff from garden centres from time to time. So as we move over, I've got some um, lettuces that I started off from seed here. So this was when it was too cold to start them off from seed and I had them just um, in my summer house keeping warm from frost. Now actually the ones over the allotment have caught up and I don't need these now, but they're still doing really well. So it's really handy to have a few at home when you haven't had time to go up the allotment to shoot out and just use them. Same thing with these kales and actually if I've got room for them, um, I might pop those kales in up at the allotment if it's all possible. Now if we move over here, I've got some sweet peppers and some aubergines that I've started off. Well, when I say started off, actually these, again, I bought, they're grafted plants, so they're meant to produce a much heftier variety. Traditionally, I've always started my aubergines and my peppers off myself from seed, but a good friend of mine, who I call my gardening guru, who lives in Wales, recommended to buy grafted plants. Now, they are a lot more expensive, but we're going to see whether they do any better than the ones that I start off myself, and already they are looking really, really healthy indeed, so I'm really quite excited. I believe the aubergine is a scorpion variety, an F1, um, and I can't remember what the sweet pepper is there. Now these will move on to bigger pots at some point, but at the moment they're perfectly happy in these smaller pots. And all these things will stay at home and um, for the entirety. I could take them up at the allotment, but if I'm honest I'm running out of room already and I do like to keep certain things at home so I can take a bit more care of them. So as we move over, the tomatoes are growing at a tremendous rate at lots. It seems I'm no sooner tying them up and pinching them out and they've shot up like a great big chunk. So it's really, so if you've got them, make sure you're taking out the side shoots, make sure you are tying them up because you only need a little bit of wind for them to flop over and to snap and, and you could lose them. And also the side shoots as well, again, you know, I pinch my tomatoes out regularly and I've managed to find some massive side shoots. Now either I've missed them or they've just grown really quickly. Um, so you can see that the tomatoes, or most of them, I've got some lovely little tomatoes forming, as you can see there. Absolutely fantastic. And the same on this one. So I think nearly most of my plants now have all got little trusses of fruit. Now once each one has full trusses of fruit and I would let them get a little bit bigger you can then remove the leaves below the trusses so that concentrates on these forming and also helps the rest of the plant form as well so those are a little bit too small but a little bit bigger and I will start taking off the lower branches to help that tomato plant grow a little bit better so as you can see some of them are really really tall look I can't believe how tall that is. Again, I only tied it, I could probably tie that up a little bit more, I think. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy. And I did this this morning. I came out, I nipped them all out, I tied them all up and thought it was perfect. And now I think it seems like it's grown two inches, like from this morning. That is completely mad. So I've got some more of those aubergine plants here. I do love aubergines. I've got to say I cook with them an awful lot. This part of my garden is, as you can see, when the sun shines, it's particularly hot. It's a bit kind of like Mediterranean, eh? which is why it's particularly good for my tomatoes and my aubergines. So when you're thinking of where you're going to put your plants, um, if you've got a really nice sunny spot, things like that are just going to absolutely thrive. So my rocket, um, although self-seeded, I decided to leave it where it was, and I've been harvesting that regularly. 
my herbs on my herbs over there, my marjoram, have gone absolutely bonkers. Um, so I'm going to have to start to trim that back because it's, it will it will just take over that area if I'm not, you know, if, if I don't take care of it. I'm um, moving over here. I started off some herbs. So in here, this is basil. Um, they've germinated much better than I thought they would to be fair as you can see really thick now that basil is going to go in between the tomatoes because basil really helps or they say really improves the flavour of your tomatoes um, and also it's nice to put in salads as well so it's kind of like win-win really I really love it um, and that was really simple to do I also bought, bought a little mixed packet of seeds just from like the pound shop these ones here and there's a mixture of coriander chives dill and also parsley and they're doing really really well and and these are the ones I don't actually know where I'm going to put them but I'll have to find somewhere won't I but I'm sure I think of something these are lovely cucumber melons and if you've not grown them before um, they're absolutely delicious they're tiny little miniature cucumbers a bit more citrusy um, and they're really quite yummy I've only just planted those on today and I'm gonna I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it but I'm going to do something so they can trail up because I can either trail over but the reality is, is when they grow they'll trail too far so you don't really want them on the ground because you could tread on them but I'm going to put something in place to trail them up and they're looking a little bit sad for themselves because I only potted them on into that today but I'm sure most of them will make it hopefully so I've still got some more squashes here now these are the ones I plan to take up at the allotment um, if I can fit them in. So I've already put some of my squashes and courgettes in, um, but I've got space for a little more and I like to get in as many as possible. So I've moved these out here because um, I'd rather them get some normal light rather than being in the greenhouse where they're really protected. I want them to, to be getting used to being outside and I think things colour up much nicer when they're outside anyway. And um, so they're there and hopefully in the next um, week they will go out into my allotment. Now, as we move over, um, this was what was my cold frame to keep things warm, but now it's to protect things from the birds. The lovely birds and, and butterflies and other things that might try and attack things. So I've got some strawberries in here and they're doing okay. I'm getting a few off of them. I'm not exactly overrun with them. But as you can see here, I have got, let's have a look here, I've got some lovely strawberries just forming on the side here. And let me just try and pull them up. I've actually eaten a few. But yeah, I've got some lovely strawberries in there. It's not the biggest crop of strawberries, but I have got a few in there for me. But I have got an awful lot more over here. You know, with pots, you really do need to keep an eye on watering them. You really, really do. I can't emphasise it enough. When things are in the ground, it's not so bad because they can take moisture from down um, below the ground. Um, but things that are in pots, especially things like this that are forming fruit, um, and if you've got tomatoes that are in pots, they suck up the water incredibly quickly. So do keep an eye on the pots that they don't dry out and you don't lose the crop. I've also got some leeks here. I've put half of my leeks out already, um, but I should put some more out because leeks are a firm favourite in my house. So they will be taken up the allotment in the next week or two when I get time. And this was a bit of an experiment. I don't know if anyone remembers, but I just have so much trouble growing radishes. I always get a flea beetle, or well, they just never seem to really grow very well. And in desperation, because I still had a packet of seeds left, and I didn't want to throw them away, I thought, well, I've got to at least try. Um, so I put them in here, and at the moment, it's looking pretty good. And as you can see, I've got some lovely little radishes forming. So I reckon I can start picking those really soon. So at the moment, this is definitely a win and I'll probably put another lot in there to have another sow. I didn't sow them that long ago. So things like radishes do grow really, really quickly. But again, it's in a pot, so I've got to make sure that it stays moist. Obviously, don't over water it, but it does need to be kept, um, does need to be kept moist. Otherwise, they won't swell out, you know. So if we move it over, we've still got our poor chicken on her own. We tried to move her in with the other chickens the other day. I don't know if anyone remembers, but you know, they don't call it pecking order for no reason with chickens. So normally they have the whole run, but unfortunately the brown one had been being picked on by the other chickens really quite badly and we couldn't let that carry on. So generally if you separate them temporarily and you put them back together again, they'll be okay but they weren't okay. So she's back in there and the plan is to let each individual one spend a little bit of time with her because if they're not all together, they might not pick on her and then eventually, hopefully, she'll get back in there. We have had this before and it has worked, so fingers crossed um, because I can't, you know, I don't, want, I don't want one of our chickens to get hurt by the other ones. 
also as we move into the greenhouse now this is what we call the spare area in the fact that i've grown so much um and i don't want to um you know i don't I don't want to tempt fate but so far um the cool jets and the squashes that i've put out over the allotment we've been really lucky and the slugs and snails haven't attacked them now we have recently put a pond in um and we do know we've got a lot of slow worms so maybe we have got some things that are eating them and stopping them from attacking them or maybe it's just one of those years where things are just a little bit better um, so I'm going to have to find homes, so hopefully some of my friends and family will want to grow some, um, some courgettes and squashes and tomatoes. So I do really hope that you found the tour around my garden interesting. I'd love to know what everyone else is doing um, and if you've got any, any ideas of how I can trail up my cucumbers. Because if I'm honest with you, I'm trying to think of ways and if I'm honest, I don't want to pay for anything. So I'm trying to think of something where I could create something they could grow up um, in an eco way rather than just going to a garden centre and buying something. So if anyone's got any ideas on that, I'd love to hear. And if you need any hints or tips, please do put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them.